Camp San Luis Obispo, California, which is the California Army National Guard's training base. It's one of the smaller ones, but it's the original home of the California Army National Guard. We rotate the soldiers through here. It's where our regional training institute is at, our, our schoolhouse. And uh, we do NCOES here, we do OCS here, and um, just a, a great training base. It's centrally located through California, so soldiers can come, get to it relatively easy, a little bit of travel. Well, we uh, have a really interesting uh, opportunity out here. What we've decided to do is actually create a reality TV series, really a first time for the National Guard, where we're going to be bringing real soldiers on Camp San Luis Obispo and matching them up with uh, non-soldiers, kids off the street that are uh, interested, recruitable for the military, and uh, we're going to take them through a series of military-style challenges, and it should be really exciting. I mean, our, our soldiers are, are highly skilled. Their goal is to be able to bring their non-soldier uh, through all of the challenges. Well, inside the building, we've got some weapons training, familiarization on the 9 mils and the M16s that we'll be using M4s later. So they're breaking apart the weapons. We're practicing 9 millimeter M4s, M16A2s, uh, which are weapon systems that the Army uses now. They know what all the safeties are, what the firing positions are, getting comfortable with having the weapons in their hands. My name is Jack Cannon and I'm the director of this project uh, for the National Guard. The director has to wear a lot of hats on a reality set. You're kind of like the train conductor. Um, you have to keep the train moving in the tracks in the right direction. And there's a lot of people, a lot of equipment, a lot of camera angles to make sure that everything is, uh, is captured correctly and accurately and emotionally. My name is Daryl Silver. I'm the executive producer of the show. Uh, today is the first day of the Warrior Challenge uh, film shoot. Uh, my role here is uh, um, to oversee the entire project. Uh, I'm kind of the top executive for the production company, uh, just to make sure that it runs well. At this point, we've done months of pre-production work. Uh, hopefully, if everything goes right today, I have to do very little. I'm Sergeant Ryan McDonald from Washington State. I'm with the Outstanding Athlete Program with the National Guard, and I'm here as a co-host here on the National Guard Challenge. I'm just here helping out, kind of give a soldier's perspective and, and uh, show what's going on during the challenges. My name is Sarah Baldwin and I am the host of this fantastic show. It's really great seeing um, civilians working with National Guardsmen who are from all around the country. I mean, that's been one of the coolest parts of the shoot, I think, for me. Television production National Guard, they kind of go hand in hand. Um, it's a lot of preparation, uh, a lot of hard work, a little bit of standing around. But uh, it's been a great experience. I mean, we've learned a lot from a television production standpoint um, about getting the most realistic um, exercises and tasks you know, for the show. Um, they've been beyond supportive and have come up with an amazing amount of great ideas that have kind of taken the show from here and elevated it to here uh, in a sense of realism. Working with the Guard has been great. It's been my second experience working with a military outfit. And uh, the great thing about the Guard is when you say you're going to start at 6 a.m., they are there at 6 a.m. ready to start. They don't show up at 6.05 or 6.15 and say, I overslept, I didn't have my coffee. They're ready to go at 6 o'clock. Timothy Baker, I'm one of the cameramen out here. All the soldiers have been great. Like today we did a sniper repelling challenge and they were great making sure we were locked in and just checking our safety and really watching everybody's back. This is my first time shooting anything with the military. My brother-in-law is uh, stationed at Fort Leonard Wood. He's a captain. I hear all these stories about what he does and uh, it's great to finally be here and, and see it in person. It's amazing to see what these guys can do and uh, see it firsthand. You admire them. I mean, I worked on an army shoot before, and just the things they can do, I know I can't do them. National Guard was great, spot on. You know, whenever we needed something, they were there. Uh, when we needed extra stuff, they, uh, they got it for us. Uh, even today, uh, at the last minute, it was very helpful to have an extra helicopter. We got it. They put up tents for us, they take them down. It's just a, a well-oiled machine. I've done a lot of different kinds of reality shows and I think this one is probably the most difficult for a lot of reasons. First and foremost, the stakes are really high on these challenges. The things that we're doing when we're doing target practice, it's not with paintballs, it's with real bullets. If somebody's not safe, if somebody's not paying attention and following procedures, not only could someone get hurt, someone could really be killed. 
I think the story of the National Guard is a great story. You know, you've got civilians who join up, they're doing exercises, they're helping troops overseas, they're helping with fires in California. I mean, they really are helping the country, and, and that's just a great story to tell. I think that the project will show what the Guard does, how active they are in everyday life, and what training and dedication and effort it takes to make it work. And hopefully people will see the value in that and want to be a part of it, and most importantly, be supportive of the people that are in the Guard and what they're doing on a daily basis. To the troops all around the world, I just want to say great job. We really appreciate all the uh, hard work you're doing. and. Uh, the risk that you're taking for us. Hey guys, this is for all of you serving here in America and overseas. I just want to say thank you for all that you're doing for all of us here to protect us and to protect people all over the world. Just to all the troops out there, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. You make it um, possible for us to even do this and to protect our freedom. To uh, all of the National Guard soldiers, I hope that this project kind of shows what you guys do on a daily basis. And uh, as an American, I just want to say thank you for all that you've done. Please keep up the good work. Please keep working hard and keeping our country safe.